so I want to take a breath <laughs> and explain something. The reason I'm doing it is I think it may actually help other people because we're all in this together. A lot of you have followed my career and know about the bully stories and all that. But I had forgotten or repressed or blocked a lot of what happened. And trying to write it, there was a voice in my head that told me I had to write it. And I kept refusing and refusing to do it or not writing how it should be. Well, the funny thing was, I what happened. I, uh, I never, ever, ever felt loved because of what the hell happened. Ah. Funny thing was, the one time I truly fell in love with somebody and found them, I kept thinking they were going to run away. Because I was used to that. This double thing of not writing this book, and not knowing if I have a home, but falling in love with somebody in their life they are dealing with could not we could not be together something inside of me told me oh, you're gonna deal with this chief and I didn't have a choice because what happened what started to happen was any smell any thought any anything that reminded me of the childhood tasting blood even because I grind my teeth at night and tasting blood I would wake up in these nightmares and then they started happening when I was awake, where the childhood and my real world started coming together. And I knew I was going mad. I could hear the screams, I could remember the beatings, I could remember the murders. But I would look around and I couldn't see my world, the real world, the one where I was loved. Couldn't see any of it. And so I had to stop and go, that's it. I need to find these demons. I need to figure out what is broken inside of me. There's a reason why you go away when you do those kinds of things, because you don't want your friends or family to deal with that. Most people will medicate themselves to block it out. I know better than to do that. But Jesus, I didn't realize just how much this one man had a hold of me man that did the turtle, crushed up my turtle, and I started analyzing and writing and dumping and crying and screaming and nightmares, fuck, fuck, <laughs> dumping it out, and then you start realizing some things inside of you, things you've done, because of that, I, for years, noticed I would keep looking over my shoulders, I just thought it was, you know, paying attention to the world. But yesterday I was walking and uh, I was having these severe, I'm going to call them anxiety attacks from when I was a kid. I got beaten so fucking hard. Anyway, I was dealing with that and I noticed I kept looking over my shoulder. And at one point I stopped and I saw the man to my left. The man that used to stand in that doorway. I was asleep on that floor, and he would stand in that doorway and sharpen that fucking knife that he threatened to cut off my balls and kill me and my mom with. And I saw him for the first fucking time, realizing I kept looking over my shoulder, afraid of that fucking man. Now, it is scary and terrifying. But I faced it. I know that's what that is now. No, we're not. We're not doing this anymore. I don't know where I was going with that, except for the fact that all of us have demons, and we face them a different way. Some drink heavily, medicate, do whatever. But until you truly just look at yourself deal with yourself. Those things are going to haunt you. I still have a long road to go. There's many other things I have to write about that happened. However, it, the goal is to be able to write the story without so much pain and memory. And 
one there. For now, it may change if another thing comes up I didn't remember. But that is where confidence is. That's where it comes from. Knowing you are loved. And knowing you have all those voices of all those people that believed in you and you. And they become a part of you. And the bad confidence is knocking out the bad. I'm rambling now. I just needed to get that out. Have a wonderful day, world. We're all in this together.